Perfect. So, um, hello everybody. Uh, I'm Tazden, and I'm going to talk to you about the Internet Cube, uh, which is um, this small device here. Uh, you can see it has wireless antenna and stuff like that, and it's nice sticker. And I'm going to talk to you in detail what uh, it is being uh, used for. So, um, here it's about neutral internet and self hosting. Uh, and this project is uh, made uh, in the frame of the Federation, Federation FDN, which is a federation of non profit uh, internet access providers. Um, and so, uh, one question that we have uh, at art uh, in our internet access providers is how to provide uh, a libre, as in free software, neutral and decentralized ac uh, access to the internet. Uh, that's uh, the key question that we have in mind. Um, today, at big commercial ISPs, uh, if you ask the question about uh, libre and neutral, it's uh, the answer is uh, no, it's not neutral, and about free software, you can forget about it. It's not the case. Uh, so today, without the Internet Cube, uh, without the small box, um, when you connect to the Internet, uh, you go through your ISP, obviously. The ISP is the single point of censorship. Um, it's really the, the easiest point to uh, spy on you and to uh, gather data, to um, uh, use your personal data and to uh, interfere with it. Uh, so the problem is this: you are, you have a kind of a single point of uh, of uh, spying, and you have to trust really the ISP to uh, to uh, have normal uh, like uh, uh, internet life. But most of the time, you don't have you, you shouldn't trust your ISP. So. Um, among the problems that uh, commercial ISPs uh, uh, show is that they are doing traffic shaping, they are doing port blocking, uh, they use um, most of the time dynamic IP addressing, there is no IPv6, you have obviously censorship, uh, either legal or just for the, the, the sake of uh, commercial interest, and you have obviously surveillance uh, from the NSA, the French government, or any legal uh, or not legal entity of your country. And uh, also, they use your personal data for commercial purposes. So with the Internet Cube, the idea is to put this little box between you and your ISP, and, and you and the rest of the Internet, so that your ISP, your actual commercial ISP, uh, cannot see the traffic going through it. It only sees encrypted traffic going through a VPN. Um, and so you connect to the Internet Cube uh, with uh, wireless. Uh, and from the VPN endpoint, uh, your traffic goes to the rest of the Internet. So how about the problems now that you are using the Internet Cube? No traffic shaping because the VPN is provided by one of the local non-profit ISPs doing your internet access with uh, love and uh, with uh, net neutrality uh, at, uh, at uh, the core value. So no traffic shaping, no port blocking, uh, you have a static IP address and IPv6 and about censorship, uh, well obviously we don't censor anything and about surveillance it's kind of complicated but you can use another VPN, if you're French you can use a, a, a Dutch or uh, whatever VPN from one ISP you trust, from one organization that you, you have trust in, and about personal data, we don't care. Um, so, there for the libre and neutral part, it's done, no problem. About decentralization, there it's more complicated, but once you have this, well, if you're still using Facebook, Google, and Skype, well, nothing has changed on this part. So, um, what do you agree on when you use Google services? Like, you agree to a bunch of stuff, like you're, you're giving your life to them for uh, eternity, and your life, your data, but that's kind of our life now. Uh, so you give non-exclusive, transferable, sub-licensable, blah, blah, blah. It's the term of services uh, from Facebook, and it's pretty much the same for all the big silos that we know of. Uh, how long at Google, like it's... Even if you stop using services, it goes on. 
for Facebook, it's the same. I spare you the, the term of services. You can go have a look at term of services. They didn't treat the two have an opinion on this. So with the Internet Cube, uh, it, comes it comes with uh, a very cool project, which is called Why You Know Host, um, which is uh, a, a very uh, good toolbox, a very good tool, a very good project to ease uh, the self-hosting part, uh, which allows you to create uh, domains and uh, uh, emails and to also install applications like Wiki, OnCloud, uh, Many, many things like that with a single click. It's very user-friendly. And so here for the decentralized part, you, you are using a box at your home that is providing the services that you were used to use on the internet, uh, on the rest of the internet, the commercial internet, and now you are the internet with, the, with this queue. So now at this point you should be asking, Shut up and take my money. Uh, so how about the price? Um, so this is just a, a small Olimex board um, with uh, a box, with a power supply, with a wireless antenna, with a memory card. It's approximately 70 euros for a complete cube with the shipping cost included. It's for the VPN, which is the interesting part. It's approximately seven euros per month today with our uh, local non-profit ISPs. Um, once we'll have more and more users, the, the cost will obviously uh, go down. And it works out of the box. You just, here you can connect, there are two wireless uh, networks that are shown. Uh, one uh, Tor network and one um, uh, pirate box. We, you, you can download things here uh, from the box. Uh, it just works. You just plug it through an internet access like I did, uh, like Petit did uh, earlier, and it it just works. So the Internet Cube enables you to clean your internet access. Like you have uh, silly stuff being done by, by your commercial ISP, and you don't want to to to, to go through the the eavesdropping of the ISP, trying to prioritize stuff and to 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 do a very nasty stuff to your internet access. So you can clean your internet access with, with the Internet Cube. You can self-host the services and your personal data without having huge computer skills because it's just plug and play and very easy to use. So where can you find this cube? Uh, because it's not yet in Amazon catalog. Not yet. <laughs> Um, from today, from your local non-profit ISP, uh, as I said, it comes with uh, a VPN, but you're not uh, obliged to use it with a VPN. Uh, but that's one of the big interests, uh, the big, uh, the, the, the a core, a core feature of it. And uh, so, not all of the local uh, non-profit ISPs that you can see on this map provide. Not all of them provide the box, but uh, it's. Uh, spreading and spreading very fast um, uh, and obviously you can build it yourself like all this is free software the hardware specifications are uh, also online everything is uh, public and free software and you can obviously change whatever part you want if you want to use a different hardware uh, you can if you want to use different VPN provider you can if you want to use uh, to modify YNOST, to add uh, st specific applications, or not using YNOST at all and use something else, uh, you can. So the cube applications, there are several. You can use it as a pirate box, you can use it as a Tor proxy, you can clear your mobile internet access, use it as a media center, as a portable mesh node, you can use it as a temporary collaborative server. Actually, as I'm saying you can use it, you, you can make it's being used for this because today there are, we actually do the pirate box and the Tor proxy stuff. It works, but uh, if you want to go and um, transform this into a, a, a portable mesh uh, network, go go and and do it. Really. Um, so that's pretty much everything about it. Uh, if you have questions, I'm all yours. Um, everything goes to Petit. <laughs> is the super. <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, one interest of having the, um, the local non-profit ISPs in the loop is that 
they are dedicated people who are very uh, into um, building um, human networks on top of machine networks. Uh, and so um, the support is uh, currently being done by the local groups uh, across France and Europe. Uh, and it, this is how we do it. And obviously you have the internet with uh, uh, the projects. Uh, you can uh, publish I issues on GitHub. You can put issues on GitHub on the several projects and so on. So currently this is it. And you have the mailing list and so on. So maybe that's something we can improve on the user-friendly uh, NAS uh, part, but uh, yeah. That's a good point. Other questions? Yeah. One question will be related to your DSPN. Yeah. Uh, how did you get the role of the DNS censorship? Uh, yeah, very good question. About DNS censorship, as of now, uh, the, the local, the, the French uh, internet access providers are all concerned by the law. Like we are uh, in, at, at we are operators uh, by law, and we should uh, apply the law uh, the same as Orange, Free, and other big commercial ASPs. But the fact is that we are we have never been asked to do uh, such things. So uh, I, can, I have an example about the blocking, the, the administrative blocking of. Um, so-called uh, of uh, apologetical uh, terrorist uh, websites. Um, there is an, there is this in the law, but uh, the, only the big commercial ISPs were asked to block these websites, not us. And today, as of now, at the time I, I'm speaking, no uh, website or no uh, nothing is uh, censored on our networks. Not just because we don't want to but because we were never asked to do it, despite the legal part. That's something really uh, weird. And uh, also about the, um, about the DNS, you can use your own resolver. You, 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 we can build an app to use the, your own resolver on the box so that you're not, you're not, uh, uh, you don't have to use the, the DNS provided by the VPN or provided by... Uh, the commercial ISP and yeah. Uh, it's very very small, um, but uh, today in the Federation FDN, uh, we are 29 organizations um, across France and Europe, and with two more than 2,000 uh, people involved in these structures and uh, 2,000 members, and uh, more than, more than uh, half of it are connected through uh, uh, ADSL or wireless, uh, through non-profit ISPs. And uh, how many bots do you already send to the uh, Today, as of, I don't know how many boxes are there. Today, yeah, twenty. Yeah, we are, we we, are, uh, we had our general assembly uh, last week, and Petit uh, presented the project there. And yeah, most of the ISPs were like, okay, I I want to to place an order, and I want to to provide this to to my to, to the people in my organization. So uh, the, the the number is really increasing. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Like we we really want people to to take the project and remix it and use it uh, as they want. If they want to to brand it uh, or to change things, and yeah, they they are more welcome to do it. More than welcome to. Do it. Thanks. Thank you so much. Thanks.